Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the GB Model R Super Sportster. Now this is a plane that basically does tricks and it's incredibly tiny. It's 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 that plane that has like this like really very very stubby looking fuselage and everything and uh, it's used for basically tricks and aerobatic maneuvers and everything and um I'm going to show you how to build two versions of the plane. So the first one will be kind of like this, but the second version is going to be upside down. So I'm actually going to show you how to build an upside down version of the plane. Now, if you've actually watched my museum series, I'm building an aviation museum basically. You should check it out if you haven't. I have a GB suspended from the ceiling upside down. So I decided for this tutorial to make it to show you how to build it upside down as well so you can have it in your world like this if you're making like if you want to make like an air show or something like that so so this plane is very easy to build there's only three layers on it and if you want to build it here's what you're going to need you're going to need black wool buttons block of quartz red sandstone slab red wool quartz stair glass block of iron uh, dark oak wood fence gate. You will also be needing quartz slabs as well. So we'll get that in. You will be needing a glass pane because I'm going to show you how to build it. Like when we do the upside down version, I'm actually going to show you how to make the propeller to make it look like it's spinning. I'm going to show you that. And you will also be needing some materials for the cockpit. You'll need a cobblestone stair or whatever stair you choose to use. You'll need an end rod. Uh, it's not in here because MC Edit doesn't like this, but item frames, you'll need a compass, a lever, and, a, and you already have a button here. So you, you will see, you'll see what I mean when, I, when we get to the cockpit of the plane. So anyways, let's go over here and we will get started. Okay, so to get started, you are going to grab your red wool and you are just going to build it up by one. And you're going to have three of the red blocks and then you're going to add seven of the white blocks, which is quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe there's a there's no slab at the end. But you're gonna have two stairs and then one turning. And then you're gonna have a quartz slab right here. And then you're going to have your two stairs again, one turn, and then a quartz slab right here. And I just want to make sure that is correct. Oh, it's yep, that's actually that is correct, and it should be three blocks exposed like that and what you're going to do oh and another material you'll actually be needing I forgot is red sandstone stairs so if we grab those really quickly and we do not need right now we'll just get rid of the quartz for now you are just gonna place them on the sides like this so that's the first layer oh and another one more thing you can do is you're gonna skip two on the third block you're gonna put your back tire is for the little back wheel and there is the first layer now we're just we're just gonna build up the rest of the plane uh, but um, the next part will basically be like putting in this landing gear and the wings and everything so so we'll go do that okay for the next part you are going to grab your red wool and you're, gonna, you're going to place one here and this is going to be going back four one two three four so you're counting that block so it should be one block overhang here and then one, two, three, four. And then you're just gonna place a block of iron. You're gonna place two inside the plane and then one out. You're gonna place your button on that. We'll put the propeller in at the end. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna grab your white blocks, your quartz, and then you're just going to drag this all the way until it's, I think, one block, yeah, one block over. And you do the same thing on the other side. And then you're just gonna have a two like this. And then you could just Grab your red blocks again, and this, this is going to just go three, one, two, three. And then with your quartz, you're going to go one, two. And then your cockpit will come up here. And you're going to have one, two, and three blocks like that. You're going to have a slab on top of that, so that's basically what it looks like. And then pretty much you're going to grab your quartz stairs and red sandstone stairs. You're just going to have your red sandstone here. Not on here, uh, but you're just going to have a quartz block here, and then this is going to go all the way down to right here. 
So basically just like this. And then just for the little tail, it's got a very dinky little tail, but you're just going to place a uh, quartz stair like that. Now, I should mention this whole thing is actually the rudder here, like this, this part right here. It's not just this little stair there. And then what you could do is grab your quartz slab and then you're going to go on the lower part of the block and you're just going to have two and then a two like that. So it should be just a four, but this part's going to be three and then two. So it's the same on the other side. On the lower part, you're going to go one, two, like that, and then you're just going to add an extra two on that. So now there's your fuselage done. So now we're going to do the wings. Okay, so for the wings, you're going to come to the front, you're going to count back two, and on the lower part of this block here, you're going to place a white, we're going to place a slab, and you're going to go one, two, three, and then this is going to be seven in total, but there's going to be one block extra, so one, two, three, four, five, six, you actually have six blocks, and then this is a seven, and then you're just going to basically join it up like this. Now there is some color we have to do to the wings, we'll place that in after we get the, the wings done, basically. So you're gonna on the other side you're just gonna go have two and then you have one, two, three, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have seven. And then you can just fill that in like that. And then for the landing gear, if I just go on to this one, it's just a one block space in between. So you're gonna skip this one and you're gonna place it right in the center here. You're gonna place a black wool block and you're gonna have buttons on either side. So on the front you're going to have the red sandstone slab and you're going to make a double slab so you're going to place one slab on the bottom here on the top of the black block and then you're going to place one more and on the other side you're going to do the same thing but with quartz blocks like that and then we do the same thing on the other side so you're going to have one and then on the second one you're just going to have a quartz block here and then you're going to have some black wool you grab some buttons like that oh, not on the ground you don't need glass anymore and then you're just gonna go one two so just remember it's on the very top of the black block uh, red sandstone on the front and quartz on quartz slab on the back so that's what it should look like so now for the little wing details here you are going to cut out one two three four five and then you're gonna replace this uh, bl bl these slabs of quartz with red sand red sandstone and then you're just going to put one here. You're going to skip one, put another one, and skip one, and put another one like that. So it's the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're basically just leaving one on this layer here. And then you could just place in, by skipping one, your uh, red sandstone blocks. And all we need left to do is the propeller. So you're just going to add two blocks, because with if you try to place them without the blocks, you can't place... Uh, fence gates so you need to have two blocks underneath it and you can just put your fence gates here and basically that finishes the plane so we'll just do the cockpit really quickly I'm just going to grab some of the materials so you're gonna grab some black wool you can grab some cobblestone grab an end rod you you should already have these materials so I grabbed them I told you to grab them at the beginning and then you can just grab an item frame and a clock and I think we also need a lever as well and a button which I just got rid of it so we'll delete the cockpit and I accidentally deleted that as well which was the slab so you're just gonna place some black wool into here you're gonna place a cobblestone stair here or whatever stair you want to choose you're gonna place an end rod this is for the stick you're gonna place three item frames like this you're gonna place a clock in the center a lever and a button in here now if you want you could probably put fence gates in here too if you want to create like rudder pedals but it's kind of the it kind of means the stick doesn't attach to anything but you could do this and open it up if you want to have like little rudder pedals but I did not do that on mine so and um, uh, then you just put your glass back over it just like that and it's just two pieces of glass and that and guess what that finishes the t this part of the tutorial this finishes basically the plane so now we're going to do the upside down version. Okay, so for the upside down version, I just took this one that I showed you earlier from upside down. I just kind of tore it apart a little bit. 
so it's basically like basically flipping it over it's a little different in terms of its construction because as you can see from the stairs here actually it's better if I show you from up here so you can see the bottom remember how the bottom was different from the top well I've we're going to be basically you're gonna put what's ever on the bottom like the bottom of the plane on top but I'm gonna show you how to do it don't worry so the reason why the wings are still in place is because the wings do not change so you're basically if you want to build the upside down version of the plane you're just gonna basically build the plane how I had it but you're mostly just putting the blocks on like the landing gear would be on top meanwhile like the cockpit would be on the bottom so I'm gonna show you but it, it'll be better when I show it to you instead of explaining it to you so so you guys don't get confused with this so we're gonna create the bottom part of the plane first like basically the bottom of this like basically what we did on the first layer so you're gonna place your three couples uh, red sandstone stair and then you're going to grab your quartz and then you're gonna go one two and then this is gonna turn and then you're just gonna have a slab at the at the back here so but instead of this being obviously upside down, you're having it right side up. So that basically, and then for the bottom portion of the plane, for your, the the back here, it's gonna you leave your two, and you're gonna have your landing gear, your back wheel on here, and then we'll put in the landing gear as well. So you're just gonna skip this one. You're gonna have a quartz block, which I got rid of it. Just gotta get it back. So your quartz block will go here, and I'll just place one on the other side as well, like that. You're gonna have some black wool on top of that. Your buttons, and then on your your red sandstone. So remember how we said on the other one it goes to the top. Well, this time it's gonna go at the bottom of the black block, and it's gonna go. You're gonna double the slab up like this. So on this one, I said put it on the the bottom part of the uh, was it the bottom part? Yeah. Well, no, the top part of the black block. This time is on the bottom part of the black block and you're just gonna place another slab over that and it's gonna be the same thing for this side for the quartz on the bottom part of the black block and you're just gonna double up the quartz like that and we'll do the same thing on the other side so on the front you're just gonna double this up like that and then you're just gonna double it up like this so there's your bottom part done so for the top the top parts pretty easy you're just going to do the same thing you can have your three here and then basically with your quartz stairs, you're just going to basically bring them all the way down to here. You're going to place an upside down stair here. You're going to skip one, place a slab, and you're going to place your your uh, block, your glass blocks. You Obviously, the cockpit would still work. Actually, I just want to see something. Make sure this still works. Can we place an end rod upside down? Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. So basically what we did in the cockpit, you can actually recreate it on this one too. So it won't I won't actually affect anything and even the item frames too. So it won't affect anything. So just place so do your cockpit and place in your two blocks and there's your plane upside down, but the only thing we're missing is the propeller. So instead of placing a propeller like this, you probably want it to you will probably want the propeller to look like it's turning. So you're going to grab your glass pane, your black stained glass pane, and you're going to go up by two, and you're going to make the four corners, so like two like that, like this. So you should have like a cross shape, and then you're going to go down like this, and then you're going to go down like, like this, so you're going to make it three, and then this is going to go down by one, and then down by one. And then you do the same thing on the top. So you're going to make a three here and a three here. And then you're just going to add one and one just like that. So there we go. So there is how you, you, this is how it looks if you wanted your propeller to spin. Now, this would actually work with any of my propeller aircraft tutorials. So, for example, you can see the DC-2 over there. Uh, my Dash 7 as well. You can see the, the Messerschmitt 109 and the Spitfire. Uh, the G4M1. So all these aircraft will be able to have the same style of propeller. Now, it, the size will depend on how big the propellers are. If it's like a three, the propellers, you're going to go down by pretty much make it one bigger. Uh, I'm going to be making a separate tutorial eventually on different, like if you want to make it look like your propellers are spinning, 
I'm going to be doing a tutorial covering the different sizes of propellers for different types of aircraft so you can have them in the air like and to make the illusion that they're spinning so I know I said that too much times but I'm trying to explain my point here so but anyways that basically finishes this tutorial on the GB okay guys that finishes this tutorial on the GB model R super sportster so if you guys did enjoy please make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you are new and you want to see more content like this and if you have any build requests please let me know down below in the comments and i'll see you guys on the next one later